Nature Boy, I listen to you speak concerning Dr. Sebi. And what I have heard, I don't think it is honest to speak about any man in that manner. And to be honest with you, many of the things you said did not show your knowledge about life. And I will point it out to you, first to begin with, you heard that he died of pneumonia. You don't know if he died of pneumonia. But it was said by his accuser, and you preach it as though it was gospel. So I ask, where is your knowledge? Do you forget what Martin Luther King said? Or maybe he too is one of your problems. Martin Luther King said, when you hear something, first, Think, is it true? Secondly, is it kind? Thirdly, is it necessary? Now, his accuser told you that he died of pneumonia, and right away you're running with something preaching that the man couldn't even help himself, and you don't know if it is true. Another thing I want to point out to you concerning Dr. Sebi, Sebi is this. Do you know that a person can set a condition, a condition for you to die from pneumonia? Like, for instance, to keep a place very cold at all times, not giving you emo enough food, to keep your resistance at a level to fight off illnesses. But you run with these things as though you know it's gospel. You speak concerning his money. You also speak concerning the Bible as though you know the Bible. Now, how could you speak against the man hurting in this manner? The Bible said, Solomon, God gave him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And being pleased that he had asked for these things, had well to it. Now I ask you also to think carefully. Question yourself before you actually speak. You don't know the intentions Dr. Sebi had towards his people, towards spending the money in their interest. But yet still, you came out speaking about money against this man. You speak about the Bible, but it's the same Bible that said, by the sweat of a man's brow, he eats bread. Now, not only that, I heard you speak about yourself being a God. Oh my God, I pray that God forgive you and that the universe also forgive your audacity. You see, I am only hoping that you open your knowledge so as to listen knowledge, my friend. It is said by the sage, I cannot fill that which is full. Empty yourself and I will fill you up. My friend, the language I heard you speaking, your kind of statements have much It wants much to be desired. It need much to be desired. Friend, 
It is easy to itch your hand and back and to catch a ride. And I pray you are not doing this with Dr. Sabi. I know nothing much about the man, but it cannot be right to do this to any man, whether he be black, white, green, or yellow, it doesn't matter. And oftentimes, what I have seen also is that many people speak as if they are in defense of their race when oftentimes people like me will not be impressed with that because the God that creates the universe that creates you he did not create one race he created many races and whether be a, a man, whether a man be black, white, green, yellow, or what is, or what he is created to be, I speak of the human family. If this world is going to be a place for the human family, we will have to put race aside. We will have to see each person as our brother. We will have to learn to forgive our debtors. I speak as no God to you, but I speak as one who has identified a God, the God. So you see, my friend, be careful of misguided ego. I take it that you mean good, my friend. I take it that you mean well. So I beg you, speak with a more open heart. I tell you, love the human family, not just race. What would God be if he was to think like you? Only one race would be unhurt. And do something. Please, stop seeing yourself as a God you are not. You are mortal man that must one day be separated from life. And your body shall go to the ground. And if you're worthy, you will go to heaven. You see, let me teach you something about the life you have. It cannot die. And if you live according to God's will, you live eternally in heaven. And if you live according to the will of the devil, you shall live eternally in hell. Those are the words of God. My friend, I meet you and I greet you with love. I give unto you wisdom. I hope that you accept it with both hands. My peace I leave with you. And I say this to Hannah One. Hear this video and have ways and means to get it to you that you can hear it. That you, nature boy, can hear this video. I will be thankful. My peace I leave with you. Take care, my friends.